Hi, friends. This is Chris Prendergast back again with another Google Analytics 4 video for you. Uh, this is part two of our investigation into tracking parameters based on the page view. So some content that shows up when uh, a visitor loads a page, what do we want to track? What do we want to uh, keep track of in our GA4 interface? And so if you recall, uh, one of the things we were tracking last time was on uh, the FitStays website here that has all of these uh, listings. Let's just grab one. One thing we were tracking was this category that shows up. So all the page views for the listings in the fitness resorts category or yoga retreats or whatever, we wanted to capture that. So if you remember the last video, we looked in Google Tag Manager and we created this listing underscore category field based on this variable. Uh, if you didn't see that video, uh, it's great. I'll link to it. Uh, you should check it out. So we got this far already where Google Tag Manager is sending this listing underscore category field at GA4, but GA4 doesn't know what to do with it yet. So let's fix that. The first thing we have to do is set up a custom dimension. So uh, you may have seen my earlier video, I can link to that one too, about setting up uh, custom dimensions. But if you don't know how to do that, go ahead and join your GA4 uh, property in Google Analytics and go down here to custom definitions. We want to create custom dimensions. So just because we're sending the data doesn't mean that GA4 is gonna do anything with it that's helpful for us until we register this custom dimension. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to take listing underscore category. So it might be here if you've been sending a lot of data. If you haven't yet, we'll just type it in listing underscore category. We want to grab that parameter and call it listing category. It's going to get mad at me because I already registered this. So um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to close without saving, but let's see what this looks like. Uh, the one I did previously. So yep, listing category, the category that each listing page belongs to. That is a reductive definition, but um, it works. We're grabbing the listing underscore category parameter. This thing right here, this event parameter has to match this fields to set over in Tag Manager. So listing underscore category, and we're just going to call it listing category. Um, the uh, Syntax for how GA4 does dimensions by default is capitalize the first letter only. So that's what I did, listing, lowercase category, and it is event scoped. Um, the things we're looking at in here for our page view, uh, I think will always be event scoped. So that's all great. I'd hit save and we're done. So now GA4 knows, hey, I think I can do something with that data. In fact, I will let you pull that dimension into reports. So you can get reports here on the reports tab based on these custom dimensions. Um, I like to use the explore tab actually to see, hey, is this working? Uh, are we getting the data in here? And can I start to analyze some things? So uh, let me just put a caveat here. If you just installed this, if you just put this uh, field in today, and if you just set up this custom uh, dimension today, this will not work for you. You're gonna see a lot of no data, not set. Um, it will not be helpful. Give it like a week. So um, pause this video for exactly one week, <laughs> then come back and see me then. Uh, okay, I'll wait. Thanks for coming back. Okay, so you've waited a week. You've got this data pushing from Google Tag Manager over into your custom dimension that we just set up over here into right here, listing category. This listing category has spent a week collecting that data. Now let's go into the Explore tab and actually see what data we've got. So we'll call this our listing category report. Let's look at, uh, yeah, that's uh, whatever, that's fine. Um, now in dimensions, I should be able to find here under custom listing category. Perfect. That is exactly what I wanted to see, listing category. Let's go ahead and import that. And let's take a look at uh, event count. 
Oops. If I spell it correctly, it should look just like that. Event count. You can grab other things. This is what I want to see. Listing category and event count. So uh, I'm just going to double click this, which brings it to rows. I'm going to double click this, which puts it into columns. And OK, this is a start. This is not everything uh, I want to see, but it shows at least, hey, the listing category is getting populated in some cases. Uh, let's clean this up, though, because this is not super useful to us just yet, because right now we're looking at every event that is happening on a fitness resorts page and a wellness fire resorts page and a lot of other pages. So we don't want to see every event. I just want to see the page views. So the best way to do that is with a filter. So I'm going to create a filter uh, and I want event name equals page views, but I can't do that. I don't see event name here. Well, I need to add it over here on the left-hand side before I can do anything with it. So add one more dimension of event name. Okay, and now if I do a filter, I want to filter by event name. I only want the event names that are page underscore view. Page view, yes, that's it. So basically, I'm only seeing page views here. This is the number of page views on the pages that uh, triggered this custom dimension. So yoga retreats, we had uh, the total of all of the listings that were in category yoga retreat was 395 over the last 28 days. Um, we're looking at this one, which is fitness resorts. So all of the fitness resorts listings, including this one, we had 7,182 page views in the last 28 days. So that's great. We also had a lot of pages that were not listing pages that show up as null here. Well, that's fine, but I you know, don't need to see that. So I'm going to create one more filter and say, hey, listing category, I want to uh, not see, does not exactly match the listing category that's called null. If it's called null, I don't want to see you. Listing category does not exactly match null. Apply. Great. This looks great. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I'm going to call this uh, listing categories. And now if I also wanted to see what specific page was triggering most of these, I could uh, duplicate this and um, we'll call this um, listing names by category. So here I can then see the actual uh, page. We'll take the page title. Sure, import that. And if I double click this, now I have two dimensions here. So I can see fitness resorts leading the Hippocrates Health Institute. Great. Fitness resorts, Fit Farm. Fitness resorts, Weight Crafters. Okay. A lot of fitness resorts here. Here's a kids and teen camp. Um, I can add to look at more than 10 if I add rows here. I can do whatever I want. I've got all of this data now. Um, I am seeing the things I wanted to see. I am seeing my listing categories by themselves in aggregate. And I am seeing uh, if I want to drill down into each of those. Well, okay, for all the fitness res resorts, which are the pages that are driving that traffic? Uh, isn't this amazing? I can do that for all of the uh, different parameters that I've set here over in Tag Manager as long as I take the step of setting up a custom dimension in the admin section and as long as I take the step of waiting a week. If you've waited a week and you've put all this together and you're not seeing the data, something went wrong. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I answer all of my comments, all of the questions that come in. So um, legit, if this isn't working for you, please let me know and we'll try to sort it out. But if you've waited that week, uh, do that first. Please wait that week. If it's still not working out, we'll, we'll try to solve it. Um, that week is the, the thing that lets you populate some data here. I've had this for a while, so I can look at 28 days. If I was only waiting my week, I would say, hey, let's just look at the last seven days and make sure that my data comes in, which it does. Uh, let's just show one more example. We looked at the uh, Lemonly.com website as well. Lemonly has this uh, blog post about the uh, interactions of the characters on the movie Love Actually. Uh, so this is a blog post and the blog post has an author. So remember, we set that up last time as blog underscore author. 
Well, I already took the step uh, a while back of registering a custom dimension uh, for blog author. And so we do in fact have this set up blog authors as an exploration. Love that. So uh, this is set up to see blog author and also the pages that are triggering at the same time. So we can see um, Michael Todd, love actually, this is our second uh, most popular uh, blog post by this author. If I just want to see the authors in aggregate, I could take off this page path and screen class. And then I would just see the authors themselves for the kind of the summation of all of their uh, different blog posts over the years. So Michael Todd, there he is. Um, I imagine this one is contributing quite a bit. It's pretty popular. So that is coming in. We could create explorations for all of this, for the search results, for the blog categories, for dates, for anything else. Um, this all just works out as long as you have your GA, uh, so, I'm sorry, your GTM set up correctly, as long as it is registered as a custom dimension here in the admin section. And as long as you wait a week for that data to come in. It is not retroactive. So you'll only start to see data once you have your custom dimension set up. I hope this was helpful. Uh, if uh, you're having trouble, like I said, leave me a comment and uh, stay tuned for the ne next video. We'll be looking at uh, other events and parameters. So when people are interacting with your site, uh, different things they click, form fills, whatever, we want to track that in GA4 as well. So we're going to do that in the next video. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Hope to see you back then. Bye-bye.